What's up? Welcome to the channel. So, have you ever woken up and your back was like all tight and it just felt terrible? You, maybe you slept on it funny or maybe you, you tweaked it at the gym the previous day, something like that. And uh, you just felt awful to, to move around. Well, that happens to all of us. And uh, a good thing to do when that happens is to crack your back. Now, that's not what it sounds like when you crack your back. It's a great way to uh, relieve, you know, some stress on the joints. It relieves the pressure. Um, it loosens things up. So, lucky for you guys, today I got my little guinea pig here, and I'm gonna demonstrate different ways that you can crack somebody's back. Let's say he has a lot of back pain, and I'm gonna crack his back to relieve some of that pain for him. So, um, and I'm gonna show you different ways that you can do it when you have another person there to help you. So the first thing we're gonna do is he's gonna lay down on his stomach. And uh, I'm gonna show you a technique that I like to use to crack someone's back. I take my arm, I take my forearm here, and I put my body weight on it. And uh, you have to get the person to relax first. And you just kind of apply some pressure with the uh, with the arm, trying to get it to crack. Okay, so that's that's one way to do it. Another way is uh, you want to take this arm, and then I like to push with my thumb up here at the top part, and you kind of can get underneath the uh, the scapula right here and apply some pressure there. That helps to alleviate some back pain. Then you want to do it with both sides. So I'm pressing in underneath the shoulder blade there. Alright. Now, if that still doesn't work, you need to uh, think of another way to alleviate the back pain. You're going to have your friend sit up. Actually, on your knees is good like that. Uh, maybe face this way for the camera. Yeah. And then uh, you're going to go forward <clears throat> and uh, yeah, keep your knees down. And then this stretches the back real good this way too. Oh. Oh. All right, so you come up. And then uh, we're going to do one. Now sit down on your butt. Uh, put your legs out. So now we're going to take this leg here and put it over this one, okay, and then we're going to twist them. Oh, yeah. Oh, twist them like that. Oh. oh. And that stretches the back really good, and we'll do it with the other leg, too. Oh. So. Oh, yeah. You want to twist the body. Oh, yeah, it's perfect. Okay, and you can also do that if you lay, yeah, like lay down and then cross this leg over like this. Yeah. Oh, and yeah. then you want to hold this shoulder down back here, oh. flat on the bed, and take this knee, the opposite knee, and do that. Oh, yeah, and that really, that, um, uh, that stretches out the lower back, so you might get some cracks out of that. Super necessary. I know a lot of people have back pain. It's probably one of the most uh, oh, common yeah. types of pain to have. So, oh. so if we're uh, yeah, it definitely alleviates a lot of the and pressure. When you're doing these to somebody, make sure that you're um, talking to them and explaining to them, or and so that if he tells you, "Hey, it hurts" or something like that, you know, you want you never want to do too much pressure that you're actually causing pain to somebody you want to just do just the right amount of pressure that you can alleviate the pain you can get the crack the popping noise but you don't want to do so much that you're going to injure the person all right 
So now the next technique we're going to do is normally both people would be um, standing, but because we have kind of a height difference, I'm going to do it sit, sitting down. This is if you're uh, on your feet, and this is when you're going to try to, uh, you're going to have the person cross their arms. And I, oh. Sometimes people lift each other up this way, but oh, I like yeah. to do it just like that at first. So yeah, but you can also, if I'm going to stand, we can also just pick them oh, up yeah. and you just want to oh. pick them up a little bit just to let the pressure down you don't want to be like leaning back yeah and then another thing when when you face chest to chest and then you can squeeze right here oh. and then then i like to give a squeeze right oh, here yeah. to get the top oh i just felt all that crack you get the you get the lower back which is the most common place for back injuries is the lower back, mm -hmm. but also the top. And then also, you know, you want to make sure your neck is nice and stretched out. So maybe you want to have somebody, and then you don't want to do this hard, but just apply a little pressure to their neck oh, yeah. to stretch it out. But you don't want to, oh, yeah. you want to be real careful with that. Yeah, you know? always careful with the neck. Yeah. Loosen it up a little bit. Now remember, I'm not a chiropractor or anything, so. Uh, These are just very common back cracking practices that yeah, you do with your friends, but where people you know, need the help. Don't want anyone to get injured here, so always be careful with all these things that you're doing. Okay, so now for this technique, I have them up against the wall like this. And I'm gonna take the palms of my hands and I'm gonna just Lightly oh, yeah. press on the spine, and when I do it, I go in kind of like oh. an upward motion. Yep, and oh. that kind of alleviates. Because oh. you, the goal is, because the spine is all bunched up, yes. so the goal is to stretch it out. That's what makes it hurt, is because you know these discs that are in here. Oh, well, your lumbar. Yeah, they, they all. Oh, they get compacted down. sometimes. They get compacted. Yeah, they push down on each other. So what we're trying to do is just to raise it up a little bit. So you get your thumbs in there like this, and you can feel where the the backbones are connected. And that's what we're trying to do is like separate them. So it just uh, gives it a little stretch, uh, makes it feel a lot better because the back, you always want to be taking care of your back, especially you guys out there doing squats and all that stuff, you put the bar across your shoulders and you're holding all that weight. That's so much pressure on your spine. So you always want to make sure that you're keeping it loose back there and you're keeping it, you know. To avoid any injuries. Yeah, you want to crack that back. Anything else we need to go over for this video? Always forget, always remember to stretch. Yeah, always, always do stretch your stretches. Stretch before you crack your back. Yeah, yeah, you want to make sure the muscles are nice and loose. You don't want to just have somebody in there pushing on it. So, yeah. but just remember, you're not like gonna. You don't want to hurt the person. You just want to do a nice, gentle stretching for their, for their back. There's also, um, you know, sometimes you can just take the person's arms and like pull on them. Oh yeah, and that stretches his back too. Oh yeah, it does. So. So maybe if you're having any back pain, you can have one of your buddies try that out with you. And uh, so for now, we're gonna thank our, uh, our partner here, a guinea pig, uh, that allowed me to demonstrate the um, back cracks. And uh, make sure that you like and subscribe to this channel because I'll be doing a lot more stuff. That's what this channel is all about. Informative, fun stuff.